Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages. Welcome back to CB Train Nuts, crazy world of model trains and Christmas villages and Halloween villages and my wife's crafts and my crafts and all the crazy things we do here. Um, I hope that you will enjoy this video and if you do, please subscribe to my channel and like the video and please leave your comments below so that uh, I can do anything I can to improve what we're doing here. It's been a while since I've posted any videos and I've been going through a lot of stuff here at home. Uh, passing of my father, back surgery twice in a year. So now it's time to get playing again. Uh, love my trains and uh, my wife loves the trains and we enjoy this so much and we just want to share what we do with everybody and, and hope that somebody can learn something from us as we have learned so much from all the other YouTube vloggers on here that uh, do such wonderful jobs with their videos and tutorials. So let's get started. This is an S-scale two-bay covered hopper looks really nice comes from uh, this one from MTH I believe yes uh, MTH bought the S helper service line of trains back a few years ago and they have now sold the MTH S scale trains to a company called scaletrains.com and hopefully they will get some new trains out soon but in the meantime I want to show you what I did to uh, make these nice clean crisp hoppers look a little bit uh, more modern and up-to-date uh, like what you see on the railroads today so I want to take this car and let's try to go from that to maybe this okay or turn it around I've got this one and these are some really nice uh, scale uh, decals and this is not a paid promotion but this is who I've been buying them from. It's called T2 Decals LLC. Uh, I've been buying these off of eBay and um, they just, they're really nice decals. Um, let me show you some of the things I've got to, to work with here. They show two sizes on their website, O scale and HO scale and some N scale, I believe. But I do S scale, so what I have to do is kind of make do with the O scale and H O scale decals. So these are O scale, these are O scale, O scale, and you can see how nice they are. Okay, then we get down to some smaller ones and uh, these are, are very cool too. And, and I think a lot of these will work real well on the S scale as you know, graffiti really doesn't have a certain size it just depends on the person painting the, the decals, or not the decals, but the graffiti on the side of the buildings, on the side of the cars, etc. Um, so that was one car that I, I'd like to show you. Here is another car that I did, but I did these using some paint markers. And as you can see, it turned out pretty neat. That was my first attempt. And we're going to keep trying to, to do some more things down the road as I, I do these. Um, over here in the paint booth, I have a car I just sprayed with some flat. A friend uh, who lived next door to me, not really a friend, he was a neighbor and he moved away, has two of my cars still. But he did this for me. This is the first one that we attempted to do. And as you can see, you know, the size... It goes all over the place so whether you have O scale, S scale, H O scale, N scale, I don't think it really matters as uh, as these kind of, uh, you know, you see the trains are painted different sizes. So what I'd like to do is I've cut out a few of the decals and I am going to take these, okay, and show you how I did them to make them look so good. Okay, basically I followed the directions. So when you do stuff like this, read the directions. I mean, it's amazing what happens when you read the directions 
and things turn out right. <laughs> it blows my mind. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, Walther Solvacet decal setting solution on these, and it recommends to do that after you put the decals on. So for the first decal, I'll take my camera here, and I'm just going to dip it in some warm water. And once it comes uh, loose, I'm going to transfer it over to the car. We'll put a couple of these on and uh, kind of go from there. And I'll show you what I do to make them flat, how to get them to adhere. And uh, it's really a lot of fun to do this when you see your work and see how well it turns out. Um, at first, I was kind of leery of, of taking uh, decals and, and uh, putting them on the cars that are, they come out of the factory looking so nice. And I really, really was reluctant to do this. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't put anything down on the car first, but I did use a pair of tweezers to help me get those on. Now next, uh, this is rolling up a little bit, so let's get this down a little bit here. I'm just going to put this right here, right over all these words. And I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to kind of force that down into the... See that? Okay. And then we're going to squeeze that down there real nice. What I want to do is get enough in here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks looks pretty good. The uh, decal's down in there real well. Scoot it over a little bit. Take the tweezers and kind of press them in there. Okay. Now next, I'm going to take a little bit of Solvacet solution after... I take my, well, where'd it go? I have a Q-tip here that I use to dab up the, uh, well, how about that? I lost it. I didn't lose it. It's just here in my mess. One thing I always tell people, do not work in a messy work area. It makes it so much harder, but I'm one that I can't even listen to my own advice so, all right, so we're going to kind of dab the extra excess water off of this, okay? Just be very gentle with it. Not too much to do there. Just get the water off, okay? Next, we're going to take the Solvacet, okay? It's Walters. You can use any, any brand of the, the setting agents because they all work really well. Some of them have a two-part where you put the Solvacet or decal setting solution down first and then after you apply the decal you put the solve set solution down now let that sit for a little while and it might wrinkle up a bit that's okay while we're doing that I'm gonna go ahead and soak another one here so I can put it on the other side or kind of in the middle here. I don't want to cover up too much of the markings. And hopefully, you'll get a real good idea how to do this. It, I mean, it just, it's really nice when they're finished, as you can see on my previous one. I'll show you again how it turned out. Okay, and I did the same process using these. And you can see how uh, how they are right here. They're really, really tight on the on the uh, ribs of the car and they just look really really superb um, I'll probably stick with these decals for a while until uh, and well I forgot what I was saying oh well that, that comes with old age I just turned 65 here last week well the other day actually on the 20th of May and uh, as you get older, you kind of lose that a little bit, but it's okay. I just write things down a little bit more. Okay, so here, I'm gonna do the same thing. You can see it comes off. I'm gonna take my tweezers, 
And I'm just gonna pull it off like that, okay? And once again, I'm gonna start here on the end. Try to get these as close to the ribs as possible. See how that kind of goes in there? It's a little bit of a struggle, but you want to be careful because you don't want to tear the uh, decal at all. Okay, there we go. And next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this water out of here. And that kind of pushes everything down too, okay? And just take your time doing this. Um, you know, it's graffiti, so you really can't mess it up if it's on a little bit of an angle or, or whatever, okay? So, see how that is? It worked out pretty nice. I'll take my tweezers one more time and just kinda make sure it's set in there, okay? There we go. Next, I'll come back and I'll put a little bit of solve set down. It's a lot of fun doing this. Um, the first time I did it, I wasn't very good at it. I'd tear the uh, tear the decals and stuff, and I'd get aggravated, and I'd be cussing at myself. But I, I'll try not to cuss here, guys. I know little kids can be watching these videos, learning how to do stuff. I'm gonna come back over to this first one and put a little bit more down, okay? And uh, like I said, take your time. There's no rush on this. You let that dry off. And there you have it. That is what you do to put these decals on. And like I said, they're nice decals. Uh, I believe they're printed on inkjet paper uh, with an inkjet printer. So they turn out real nice. I do make my own decals sometimes but uh, I haven't made any graffiti decals. So I haven't tried it with a uh, regular printer. Um, but this, as you can see, it's, it's soaking down in there, it's settling in. And it takes a little bit, sometimes a couple coats, a little, little bit of uh, messing with the uh, decal just to make sure it's going down in there. Okay, and there you have it. I mean, it's just, you can see the decals moving a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take the, the cotton swab and I'm just gonna dab over it a little bit, get the excess off. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. What this does is it gets that excess off. Okay. And that allows it to dry a little bit quicker. And if you have to, you can always put a couple more coats on. But here's how we're looking so far. You can see the decal film on there, the edges of it. But that's okay because what's going to happen is once I take the uh, finish spray, and I'm gonna finish these with the flat, okay? I used the Krylon Color Max Clear, it works really well. You just put a few light coats on it and it hides everything very well. Uh, and again, this is not a paid endorsement for anything, okay? These are just products that I use and, and I recommend them to you. If, you. if you're not using something you like, you can uh, switch over to that, okay? So there. I really think uh, uh, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put one more coat of uh, Solvacet on, and I'm gonna go really, really thin with it, okay? Get these edges, see if I can get them to look a little better, okay? And after this sets for a little bit, it should be dry. And then we'll go over to the paint booth, as you can probably hear the fan in the background, and we'll spray a little clear coat on it and see how it looks, okay? 
a lot of these others I did not spray clear coat on and uh, I am going to do that today to see how things turn out okay let me give this one more coat over here I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust my camera a little bit and hopefully you can see what I'm doing but I'm about a foot away okay spray it start to spray okay there you go and you just real light spray it just one coat okay I'm, I'm gonna do the ends also okay and turn around to the other side and we'll do the same thing okay nice nice thin clear coat you don't want it uh, running or dripping or anything like that I'm sorry if you moved the camera I'm trying to do this with two hands when you need four. It's a little rough, but that's okay. So anyway, you can see how that turned out. Um, and it, again, this was done with the, uh, the paint workers, okay? I believe they were testers. I don't remember. And my wife's got them hidden somewhere because she's been using them. So here we go. The little work area that I got, my spray booth some of my paints and stuff. I got so many projects going on at once. I'm gonna hopefully have a lot of videos here for you in the coming days. Okay. And hopefully I will have my daughter helping me edit these videos so you don't get all the yuck parts in it. Okay. So there we go. I'm gonna once again go over it. Kinda smoosh that down. Okay, and you want to be very gentle doing this. You don't want to mess up anything, especially at this point, because the Solvacet really softens up these uh, decals. So you want to be very careful with them, okay? So that's what it looks like on an S-scale car. Um, and again, I used, I believe I used uh, HO on this one. And as you can see, it turned out just fine. So, I'm going to take a couple O-scale decals. I have an O-scale car here. I bought this the other day, and uh, it's already weathered. And I'm not sure what brand this is. I don't see anything underneath saying who the maker is. has like a Lionel coupler type thing on it so it's metal but it was broken it had a few spots broken on it uh, ladder here and this ladder here and the ladder on the other side but you know what not all train cars are perfect are they so I am gonna do this one for somebody and uh, hopefully it turns out real nice. So what I use to cut out my my decals with is this razor knife. And I try to get as close to the edges as I can, okay? Um, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. As I slowly go and try to make sure that I get cut through the first time you don't want to go back over it if you don't have to. And like I said, these are, are really nice decals. They seem like they're easy to, to trim out. Now there may be quicker ways to do this. If you guys have any ideas for me, leave some uh, suggestions down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm learning how to do this stuff now too, and I uh, really enjoy comments from everybody and um, suggestions. You know, if you've got a better way to cut these out, I wanna hear it because uh, this works, but sometimes there's, there's an easier and better way to do it. Okay, see? Because what happens here is sometimes you don't get all the way through at a certain spot. you got to kind of tear it. And I really don't like tearing it because you can actually tear the decal itself. And uh, 
you know, it's usually easy to repair, but I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut some more here because it doesn't seem to want to tear very well either. Okay. Oh, and get this. Uh, I got a call today from Australia from my daughter's boyfriend. And they are planning to get married in the Philippines this coming February. So, I'm excited. He's a good guy. And he promised me he would take good care of her. And he will be moving here to be with us. Well, to be with her. I'm just part of the baggage he gets with it. All right, so there we go. We got this cut out, okay? So, let's go ahead and soak it in the warm water for a minute. I think this will work out pretty well. I'm gonna take take my solve set here and I'm actually gonna try to rub it on here a little bit, okay? Just uh, number one, kind of clean the area. Number two, give it a little bit of uh, undercoating, you know? And that will probably dry up. Okay, here we go, we have And this one is really coming off very easily. Okay. Throw that now. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and run the cotton swab over it. Notice I don't call it a Q-tip because it's not a Q-tip. It's a cotton swab. I don't know where I got these. I think I got them at, uh, I don't know where I bought them, but I know you can get them all over the place. I'm sure you can find them on that uh, wicked Amazon, but uh, I buy a lot of my things at a place called Parts Express. It's about eh, 25 minutes north of here between Dayton and Mason, Ohio, where I live. All right, now that's down. It looks real nice. Let's put a little solver set on it. Do the edges here. This is really easy because it doesn't have ribs or anything like that on the side to adhere to. So I can just run this right down the edges of this. And we'll put a little bit over the, over the top too, just to make sure it conforms real well. Okay, there we go. That looks like it's gonna be pretty good when it turns out. All right, now, where did we go with our other car? Here it is. It's looking pretty good. Um, as you can see, it's pretty tight up against those ribs, okay? I think I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm gonna check this here. A little bit not uh, not in there, but we are getting very close. There we go. And once again, I'm going to kind of go over that. I'm going to push down a little bit to try to give that the uh, seating that it needs on these ribs. Like I said, you got to be uh, very patient with it. This one here, this looks really, really good. I'm real pleased with that. So a little bit more with this. You can see it's loose here. I'm going to take my tweezers, try to squeeze it together. Where'd they go? These will work. Okay, so what I'm going to do, all right, this is a little bit different trying to do this to the camera. I'm watching what I'm doing. So, there we go. That looks pretty good. OK, 
Okay. I'm looking here and uh, yeah, getting focused there. It looks pretty good. All right. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take just a little bit here. And you can do this. And it's just uh, put a little bit of hole. Okay, see how that's coming up? It is not sitting well. So that hopefully a little bit of hole that I put in there will allow some of the solve set to get underneath. Okay. And there we go. All right, as I do this, you can see I do some messed up things sometimes. But one thing I'm not going to do is keep apologizing for things I do. Okay? And I'm trying not to mumble along and stuff, but I really want this to be a video from start to finish where you can see what I do, how I do it, and how it turns out. Okay? So we'll let that sit a little bit longer. Okay? Let's take this one over here. That should be dry enough to touch. Okay, and that's got the flat on it now, and that turned out really, really well. Okay, let's turn the other side over. Really, really like the octopus. I have no idea the meaning behind it or anything, or what that word says. Um, I don't know. And I like the little thumbs or ghosts or whatever they are. It just turned out really nice, and uh, I can't wait to do some more. I'm going to have a modern train, and that modern train itself is going to have a lot of these cars graffitiized. Like that word graffitiized? I don't know. I just made it up. Okay, so what else could we put on here that would look good? I, what about this? You think this is all right? I kind of like that. Let's cut him out. And uh, we'll put him. I just love these decals, okay? And, and again, here I go. I'm going to cut it out. So you're actually seeing what and how I'm doing things. And like I said, this isn't the only way to do things. And if anybody has suggestions, I'm good to go. One thing I will say is put a new blade in when you're cutting decals. That helps tremendously. This blade is not exactly brand new, but it's not overly used either. So that's why I'm still using it. And I just put a little bit of pressure down on it. Okay. Yeah, my wife, she's uh, she's into the O-scale trains. I'm into the S-scale trains. We have G-scale trains. We have HO-scale trains. And we also have N-scale trains. So we kind of dabble on everything. And the, the way that happened is I was strictly O-scale. And we started a Christmas village, my wife and I together. And she really loves Halloween. Being from the Philippines, they, uh, they did Halloween really well. Just started that really not long ago. So I'm soaking that decal here. And as soon as it's ready, we'll put it on. But anyway, she got into the, uh, the Halloween villages. And wouldn't you know it, she decided that she wanted a Halloween village. So... All right, I'm gonna bring this back down here a little bit. There we go. I think that looks pretty good right there. What do you guys think? All right, so let's get some of that water off and make sure it's all down even. Tell you what, I really enjoy these decals. Um, probably some of the best I've used. So, if the makers of these decals happen to ever see this video, okay, the two, 
T2 Decals LLC, and I will try to contact them and see if they can print some of these up at S scale for me. I think that would be really cool. Um, but again, I'm making do with the HO and the uh, O scale. So here we go with a little bit of solve set. Oops, I better get that on camera, huh? That will help. Okay, so here we go. And if you get bored with silence on the videos or you want to skip ahead to see what's going on, I completely understand. I do the same thing on some videos. Um, you know, we all have time limits on what we can do, and so far I'm in a 30-minute video here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to try to wrap this up a little bit. We have this one here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, bubbles in there. So I'm going to take my cotton swab. Well, I don't know if I got that on there or not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead with my cotton swab, and I'm going to try to push those bubbles out. There we go. All right. I'm thinking... That looks pretty good. Bubbles are gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this side a, uh, a clear coat finish real quick. Uh, take it over here to the booth. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. We'll let those dry off a little bit. And I'll come over here and adjust the camera. All right. And again, i shake this can up a little bit to make sure that it's right. Always make sure your paint's at room temperature, too. Unfortunately, I store store some of my paints out in my garage, and in the wintertime, it gets a little bit cold. Summertime, a little bit warm, until I insulated last year. And uh, it uh, kind of affected the, the stuff I had out there. Fortunately, those cans were pretty well empty, and uh, I bought some new cans here. So here we go. Uh, real light spray. Okay, we'll let that sit for a few minutes. It says about uh, what is it here? Uh, I think it's 20 seconds or so. Uh, painting, shake one to two minutes and sweep the motion side to side, eight to ten inches from surface. Wait one minute between each coat. So, with my babbling on, we should be able to give it another coat here in a second. Let that dry and see how it turns out. I think it will be presently. Will be presently. Presently, man, I cannot talk. I think I need a bud select. All right, so here we go. It's been about a minute. Okay, here we go. Real light. Uh, you don't want it uh, sagging or anything like that. So let's let's pick it up. You'll see it. It's a little glossy still because it's wet. So we'll let that sit for a second. Once it's uh, dry, we'll put it under the lights over here and see how it turns out. Okay. So back over here and adjusting the camera again. I make no apologies, like I said, for working here. And uh, one of these days, I'll get my daughter over here and she can videotape me. But for now, she can just edit, and uh, here I uh, spilled some water all over. So let me get these decals up off the table. I tell you, I do some dumb stuff sometimes, you know. I, uh, but I enjoy it. It's a hobby, you know. And hobbies are fun, and I have fun, especially now that my back is starting to heal up a little bit. All right, so let's go over this one more time, make sure there's no bubbles in it. Really looks good. And like I said, once you go over these with the clear coat, they really, really look good. Um, my problem is, you know, I start getting a little impatient and I keep telling you, take your time when you're doing this. And uh, I absolutely mean that. Let's take a little paper towel here and we're just gonna 
put it on top just to soak up that extra water, okay? Make sure nothing came up. And this, this is just really fun, you know? I'm gonna go ahead one more time around with the solver set on the edges. These uh, smooth-sided cars are just wonderful to work with. But the other kind of cars that have the ribs on them, it's really fun to work on them and make those decals fit so they look like it really was painted on. And then again, you have my cars that were actually painted on. And they look beautiful, man. I mean, it just looks great. I definitely have to get me another rail box or two car because you always see those in a uh, train consist and there are two or three right in a row. All right, so this is one I painted myself and you can see it's a little glossy. So I'm gonna tone it down with some flat. Okay, we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go with this one. Let's see how it turned out. Now that it's kind of dried off, there you go. See that? I'm going to give it one more coat a little later, but you can see those edges, they really, really, really do start to disappear. Okay? So I think we're in pretty good shape here. I'm going to let that dry overnight before I put another coat on it. And then uh, see how we do. All right, so again, I'm going to do this. Uh, spray okay and it's gonna be a real light coat okay turn it around I hope I didn't miss that okay real light coat okay that's that's all you need don't need a lot we'll let that dry for a minute and uh, once this has got a minute behind it we'll put that second coat on and I really think I really think it's going to turn out pretty nice. Um, you know, you don't really see edges on here, but you do. But I think this will kind of fill that in. All right, your second coat. I think I'll do the edges on this, or the ends, I'm sorry. And here we go again. All right, you really want to stay back from it. You don't want to be up close, because that makes it run for sure bit on the top. All right, we'll let that dry. We'll take a look at it. Yeah, let's see how we're doing over here. These look pretty good too. Um, but I think you all get the general idea of what's going on here. And I hope I have taught you something. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I wasn't too boring. Um, you know, I tried not to tell too many dad jokes. And we're gonna wrap this up. Um, I think we're gonna be okay. And, uh, leave your comments. And here's how this one turned out. Still a little wet, okay? But it's gonna look pretty good too. So, I would appreciate your comments and let me know how you think the video is. If you think it's too long, let me know. If you think I repeated myself too much, let me know. Um, I really do want to make these videos for you and uh, I enjoy it and it's going to be a lot of fun as we do different things here at the crazy world of CB Train Nut, okay? So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it enough that you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and hopefully I can get a thousand viewers. That's what I'm working for and I'm getting really close because I've got 89 now, all right? So thank you everybody for watching. Leave your comments. Have a great night. God bless. And we'll see you next time on CB Train Nuts, Crazy World of Trains. Bye everybody.